follow me on Twitter at Charlene Sunny. Hey guys, welcome back to Sunny Side Up Food Reviews. And for this episode, I'm reviewing Starbucks coffee drinks. So these are limited edition, I guess just for this like November, December sort of season. So I picked up four limited edition flavors and one flavor that I just haven't tried yet, but I'm not sure like how new it is. So this bottle is 260 calories. Um, it's limited edition. This is white chocolate mocha. And this is what the bottle looks like. Not sure how long these are gonna stay around, but guessing until like New Year's. Sounds really yummy. And it says that it's rich and creamy. I did a review on like the regular just Starbucks line that they have in the stores. So this definitely is like in a bigger bottle. And I guess, you know, it's just supposed to be more decadent than that one. So be careful when you guys open it because there's no like seal. So it's, and it's filled up to the, right to the rim. Okay. Hmm. Huh. So for me, it's just missing like the decadent richness part because it still is on the thin side, like the regular line. And um, the flavor on this isn't very strong like I thought it would be. Definitely not really pick up a white chocolate, you know, flavor vibe. It just tastes like coffee, basically. <laughs> so I'm definitely disappointed in this. I mean, you can get this flavor from pretty much any coffee, you know, drink on the line. Definitely nothing special. Doesn't stand out for what it says it's supposed to be. Um, so I would definitely have to give this like a negative one out of five. I wouldn't recommend it. Definitely wouldn't buy it again. There's nothing special for me, but let's see if I like some of the other ones better. So next I have this salted caramel mocha. This is the only one that isn't limited edition. Um, so I'm not sure how long this has been around, but it says it's salty and sweet and 250 calories as well. So this says it has cocoa and toffee notes intertwined with hints of sea salt, bold espresso, and smooth milk. Okay. Well, this is definitely similar to the other one with its um, plainness and very strong coffee flavor, but you don't really pick up the strong hints, any hints at all of um, salted caramel vibe. So I would give this a negative one out of five as well. I wouldn't buy it again and I wouldn't recommend it because the flavors just aren't um, coming across strong enough. So next I have smoked butterscotch latte. It sounds really good. Buttery and savory it says flavor. So this should have like butterscotch flavor, um, espresso and creamy milk. This one actually has a seal on it. So this one you do pick up the butterscotch, but it's just a hint of butterscotch. It's definitely not um, anything too strong or anything. Wow, and it has 34 grams of sugar, so I'm really surprised <laughs> that it's not like, the flavors aren't more pronounced, but um, something quick to grab in the morning. At least you can kind of taste a little bit, but it's, it's a very watered down flavor, just overpowered by just boring like you know coffee flavor um so yeah i'd still give this like i'll give this like a one out of five and next i have molten chocolate latte it says bold and creamy um so it's combined bold espresso and creamy milk with deep layers of rich chocolate and this is what the front looks like so it should be more of a chocolatey vibe it's so hard though for me to pick up chocolate when the coffee is mixed in, but I'll see if I can really pick it out. Hmm. Yeah, this one definitely, you can pick up the chocolate. So this is actually really good because it tastes like, um, like hot chocolate basically. So it's like cold hot chocolate. It's very good. Yeah, I definitely like this one the best. Um, 
definitely still a lot of sugar 36 grams but at least there's some actual like flavor there so i would give this like a four out of five and for anyone that likes um hot chocolate or is interested in this flavor i would recommend this one and last i have this peppermint mocha flavor not a big fan of like peppermint patties or anything that's so why i saved this one for last <laughs> but of course i know like what it should taste like so it can judge it fairly okay Yeah, so it tastes pretty gross, so I'm guessing this is actually tasting the way it's supposed to taste. Because it's very, um, it kind of gives me like a licorice vibe a little bit. But I definitely pick up the chocolate and the peppermint. I just don't really care for it. Um, it just tastes absolutely terrible. <laughs> oh my gosh. But like, I'm sure people that like peppermint patties would probably like this. I just... Don't care for it. I would give this a negative 5,000 out of five. And, um, but yeah, you guys that know that you like peppermint patty, I don't even know that I would say this is worth a try. Because like peppermint patties have a really strong flavor. This one, it's like a watered down flavor that mimics licorice for some reason. Um, black licorice, which is, terrible <laughs> so but um but yeah the packaging is really cool and the color is nice so if you want to try it for that reason i would recommend it um 35 grams of sugar is still really high on the sugar but um yeah that's all i have to say for this one <laughs> so yeah the best one for me would just be like the molten chocolate latte i actually really do like this one out of all of them um but definitely if you guys are interested in trying them um, give them a try. I recommend starting with this one. And thank you guys so much for watching this Starbucks limited edition review. And please subscribe and hit the notification bell next to the subscribe button to see every time I upload a new video. And I will see you guys soon.